Welcome back to the scene improv in and around San Francisco. Monday, August 16th, 2015. We have three amazing shows for you at Stageworks Theater, all happening on 446 Valencia in the Mission. Uh, Eight o'clock, Mute Defiance. Mute Defiance is a show where they play a television show you tell them to play without any soundtrack and a group of clever improvisers makes up a new soundtrack for it. Um, very, very good stuff. Followed that by uh, the People's Non-Binding Arbitration, the second Woo! show of their new time slot. Uh, I hear they had an anti-arbitrator last time, so to come back and see the original arbitrator back again in action at 9 p.m., featuring the talents of Ukakwa, representing you, the defendant, and the plaintiff. If you have a case where you need some kind of third-party, neutral uh, justice served um, in a non-binding way just to say that you're right and they're probably wrong. Come on down. We do that all the time. Um, Flaky Jake and Friends at 10 p.m., same theater, right after the non People's Non-Binding Arbitration, uh, you can see Mike Manziello holding down the fort for Flaky Jake now that Mike Williams has flown to New York. And... We'll see what happens. Uh, you always a good time expected and always a good time delivered by that team and that group of people. And that is Monday, August 16th. Um, so the last thing we'll all do is scene together, four person scene. All right. And our random word is brick. 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 You know, I kind of miss Sally Jesse Raphael. That Whoa. was a good show. Sally Raphael. Oh, I, I did not think so at the time, but looking back, it was genius. Like, I, if half of the new people that have daytime talk shows were half as talented as her, it'd be a better landscape out there instead of all just the crap. I almost wish we didn't get off of work at lunchtime so I didn't have to go home and see all that. You know, I was telling my manicurist the other day, like, you know, the view is a little too preachy, and then the talk is just a little not me. You know, it doesn't speak to me. Like, it's like they don't even think the construction workers watch that show. I mean, you said, Ulysses. I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was a stay-at-home dad for two years. I was unemployed. Yeah. The downturn of the economy yeah. put me out. I was watching that show religiously. But this is what I'm saying. Sally Jesse Raphael, or SJR for short, she knew guys like us were watching it. She made sure that we had a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you know, speaking of show, Donahue, that, that reminds oh, me of Donahue. Oh, that, oh, guy oh, had, that guy had that guy had no master. prohibitions about who was watching his no, show. No. No. He one. knew that America was watching. That's the only thing he cared about. Oprah, Oprah sometimes lets me down. Oprah had her own cause. Oprah had her own causes. Oprah, Donahue her own causes. Donahue is not preachy. No. Like, Geraldo, opposite thing. He is oh. just the preachiest guy oh. ever. I'm going to bring my political agendas into any kind of discussion. I want to interview the KKK. I'm going to interject Geraldo's view, not America's view. No, no, not, 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 not SJR, not, not Donahue. If, I wanted, if he wanted to use the N-word in front of Black Panthers? He did. And he, he did. He did. For a cause. Four and he got his nose broken, probably. And those That's ratings. Right. There was that mob. Oh, Raldo, not Donahue. Oh, yeah. Scandal. had that pitchfork mob. But he still did it. He stuck by his what he said. Well. You think this is a place for guys like us on TV? Is this regular Joe construction workers? Yeah. Nah. Maybe an internet show, but I don't think mainstream television is ready for us. We could start our own web series. <laughs> Web series? Who would watch that? <laughs> I uh, don't know. Well, it's quitting time. See you guys tomorrow. All right. Uh, okay.